What do you think most people get wrong about motivation? They think it's a permanent fix. They think it's something that is a constant. They think that maybe once I get it, I'm going to hold on to it. Nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. And a lot of times you have to learn to perform without motivation. You have to learn to perform without purpose. You have to learn to perform a lot of different things. And that's what people think. They think I need to have this motivation to work out, to study, to be better. So if they don't have it, they just don't do it. And that's where you fail. You have to learn to train your mind well beyond motivation. If you have motivation, that's great. That's some kindling to the fire. All it takes is a little bit of spark. You can burn a whole forest up. But motivation, you have to learn to exist without it. You have to be your best self and your least motivated. And that's the tricky part about all that. Motivation is just a word. You have to have these different things in your mind on where you want to go and know that motivation is not going to keep it right. Now, motivation is it's kind of a strange word because it doesn't really mean what we think it means. We think it means that we're fired up to do something. We think that it means we're eager and passionate to make something happen. And we think that somehow we should just be able to turn on that eagerness and turn on that passion, but we can't. Because you just can't turn on passion. You can't just turn on the desire to execute a task. It just doesn't work that way. And honestly, that isn't even what motivate means. Motivate doesn't mean to yell and scream and encourage. No. To motivate actually means to provide a motive, a reason why. So to motivate someone is to explain to them why they're doing what they're doing, how it will help them, where it'll take them, why they should continue to work and to struggle and to fight. And when you need motivation yourself, don't look for someone to scream and yell. Don't look for someone else to give you motivation. Look at yourself. Look at yourself and remind yourself why. Why you are doing what you are doing. Remind yourself that this struggle, this temporary pain, this fight, this fight that you're in, this is what will make you stronger and faster and smarter and better. And then with that motivation, go forward into the fray, into the storm, into the heat of the battle where victory is forged. This is another thing where it comes back to motivation and discipline. I want to really stress the difference between those two things. I was a four-time kickboxing world champion. For 12 years, I trained five hours a day, six days a week. And I was motivated to train to probably about 25% of the time. The rest of the time I went because I am this. You don't feel like going through that shit on a Wednesday morning when you wake up, but you have to do it because you're disciplined. You're either a disciplined individual or you are not a disciplined. I do not need to be motivated. I'm a disciplined person. If I allocate X amount of time to work, I'm going to do it. But that is the bottom line answer. It's discipline. You're going to have to work when you don't feel like working. That's how it's going to have to be. Or you're never going to be it always comes down to discipline. All the other people who are building multi-million dollar careers and lives and businesses, they've all figured out one thing. They know how to get themselves up and moving when they don't feel like it. How do I stay motivated? Because no one stays motivated. Ask the question, how do I develop the discipline to do the things that I know I need to do when I don't feel like doing it? That is the question, because it's really easy for anybody to come to work on the days they feel like killing it and killing it. But what happens on the days that you don't feel like killing it? What happens on the days you don't feel like going to the gym? What happens on the days that you don't feel like getting out of bed? Because those are the days that are going to define where you end up in your life. Those days, those days when I'm tired or worn out or just basically sick of the grind. What do I do on those days? I go anyways. I get it 
done even if I'm just going through the motions. I go through the motions. I don't really want to work out. I work out. Don't really want to get up and get out of bed. I get up and get out of bed. Don't give in to the immediate gratification that is whispering in your ear. Shut that down. Do not listen to that noise. Instead, go through the motions. Lift the weights. Sprint the hill. Work on the project. Get out of bed. And by simply going through the motions, you overkill that path. You stay on the righteous path, the disciplined path. You stay on the right path. Just right. No, I've never met a person who was not successful that didn't have a great amount of self-discipline within their life. Uh, self-discipline and being able to perform and being able to keep your life on schedule and being able to keep commitments and promises and meet deadlines is essential to success. If you study people who are at the pinnacle of anything, you recognize that to get there, motivation was maybe 1% of the formula, maybe. Winners don't need motivation. Winners need discipline. This one's about getting it done because it needs to get done, not because I feel like it, not because I'm motivated for it. Well, I think the one thing that discipline definitely does help you with is it, it helps you get things done. And when you get things done, when you, you, you actually do things, you, you have more success. And sometimes a big part of success is just not being lazy and just doing it. Just get, that's like 90% of it is just showing up. Get there and start working. Like, you're not going to feel perfect every day. If I only worked out when I felt good, I'd be a fat Because there's a lot of days I don't want to do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same with everybody that, if, that actually gets good at something. There's got to be those days you push through. And they're, they're probably going to be more numerous than the days you don't. And so the benefit of discipline in my eyes has always been that through discipline, I get things done.